As the weather got colder, the athletes got better. From the ice to the court to the pool, the 2021 winter season came and went unlike any other before. Hi everyone, I'm Ted Brennan and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we wrap up the 2021 Blue Wave sports season. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the season was condensed and there were no state playoffs, but it certainly didn't make the games any less special. The boys hockey team went 7-4-2 during an intense regular season and earned the number one seed in the FCAC tournament. The Blue Wave faced a familiar foe in the conference semifinals versus New Canaan. Zarian was 1-0-1 against the Rams during the regular season, but lost a heartbreaker in overtime to the eventual conference champions. With no state championship to chase this season, the Darien girls ice hockey team looked to capture its second straight conference championship. The Wave got off to a hot start, winning its first six games, and they ended the regular season 7-2-1. Like the boys hockey team, the Darien girls entered the conference tournament as the number one seed. After back-to-back -back playoff wins, the Wave found themselves back in the FCAC Finals where they lost a thriller to New Canaan in overtime. From the ice now to the hardwood, the boys basketball team rebounded from their one win season a year ago, finishing with five wins under coach Roy Bentley, who returned to Darien after a year's absence. As the ninth seed in the FCAC playoffs, Darien upset Fairfield Ludlow in its first round game before bowing out to the eventual champs, Ridgefield. With a number of key players returning this season, the Wave looks to build on this promising season. As for the girls basketball team, they finished 5-7 and seven as well under interim head coach Ian Bossert. Nine seemed to be the magic number for the basketball programs as the girls earned the ninth seed in the FCX. The Wave unfortunately fell to Fairfield Ward in the first round. Like the boys team, the girls program has a number of young players who gained valuable varsity minutes this season. Jumping into the pool, the boys swim and dive team had a down year by its standards, finishing 1-5. Because of the pandemic, the team didn't have the numbers it usually does. The Wave will look to the future with some good young swimmers in the program's pipeline. Moving now to squash, the girls team finished 2-4 and four while the boys team went undefeated. Despite the abbreviated season, they continued the success of their storied program. Like most teams, the gymnastic team just felt fortunate to be able to compete. All of the Wave meets were virtual and held at the Darien YMCA. All 15 gymnasts were able to compete in at least one event and at least one meet. The 2021 ski season wasn't a typical one, but Darien's team made the most of it. The girls team made it to the state tournament, finishing in fifth place. The boys team fell just short of the state tournament, but had some great finishes, which they look to build on next season. That'll do it for this DAF Media Special. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Ted Brennan. Stay safe, wear a mask, and have a good night.